are asking for them to be socially responsible, corporately compassionate, and issue this self-imposed moratorium so that we can offer some reprieve to our community and our citizens who have been devastated for the past six days from the energy crisis. I first want to say to Amron EU that this is a national concern that we seem to be so ill-prepared to deal with natural disasters and natural occurrences in this country. You would think, in the midst of heightened security concerns, that power companies would be better equipped to deal with failure and better equipped to protect the citizens of this country. To add insult to injury, there was no signal from this company that they understood the pain and suffering and inconvenience that citizens suffered, that they had not taken off the table the rate hike proposal, and in fact had not shown the compassion that one would expect one to show during these types of disasters. What protection do citizens have if you do not have a preparedness strategy in place? And who ought to pay for the tab? for your lack of preparedness. You should. So the right thing, the humane thing to do in this situation is for Amron EU to say UE, Amron UE, to say we will not only take off any hike in terms of services, we will give a rollback as a gesture to try and help people repair the, repair the damages they suffered. This is a national concern. There are blackouts in New York. There are blackouts all over the country. There must be a standard set that when power companies fail, the people should not pay the tab for their failures. That's right. We work and struggle to pay our bills. We can't pay your bill of incompetence, your bill of unpreparedness, your bill of not being ready to step in.